Whoa, did you see that? So I have here eight popsicle sticks in one stack like this. Then I have one popsicle stick left over. Take your eight popsicle sticks and bind them together using the blue rubber band on both sides. Here's one side and the other side. I say eight popsicle sticks, you might have a different amount on your bag, but this is eight. I wanted to show you exactly how I, I twist the rubber band over. Just take it, take your rubber band, pull it out, and then twist it to make an X like that. And then take the loop that's open and put it over the popsicle sticks, pull it back out again and keep twisting it over. Keep twisting it over, forming your X and wrapping it around until you get it, get it as tight as possible. I think I can get one more out of this. And there's your finished product. Attach your spoon to your popsicle stick, like so. And then connect them together using the rubber band. Like so, like that. For the final step, wedge open your spoon and popsicle stick and slide the popsicle stick through the last popsicle stick in your stack, like that. You can adjust the shooting range of your catapult by moving the popsicle sticks further and back. Right now, I have it to where the popsicle sticks are pressed close to the end of the spoon. And all you have to do is press down with the object in the spoon and let go. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that your rubber band is as tight at the edge of the spoon as possible. This keeps it from coming up when you push the spoon back on this side. So let's go ahead and test it out. First test, here we go. Let's see if this baby can get some lift off. I'm gonna hold it with the other finger on this side and then press down in the other direction and lift off. You can't really see, but it kind of shot up and went toward, went on the other side of the room. Not bad for this little contraption here. So creating this bad boy is gonna take a little bit more effort, but it's a lot of fun once you get it done. So let's get started. Start by creating what appears to be chopsticks by connecting rubber bands at the ends of two sets of two pencils, like so, like that. Set your chopsticks to the side. Then create a square base by connecting rubber bands at the ends of four pencils, like this. You may need somebody to help you but do it in the way that works best for you. One way that I found is to take the rubber band and put it over the edge of the pencils like this first, and then twist and then wrap back in, come back around and repeat the process. And it takes a little bit of coordination, but like I said, do it in whatever way best works for you. There's no real right or wrong way to do it. But if you take your time on this step, it will um, allow you to open it up really easily to create the other legs. So actually this works, I think I've got it. If you can see there, all connected. Make sure that when you're connecting your pencils that if the pencil is on the bottom on this side and the pencil is on the bottom on the other side, same way on the other side. See the pencil on the bottom here? This pencil is on top. On this side, the same pencil is on top, same pencils on the bottom. This will create a stability for your base when you lay it down. Next, open up a pair of your chopsticks to form a triangle and attach to the edges by lifting up a piece of the rubber band on the side and sliding a piece of the chopstick through, sliding the edge of the chopstick through like that, like that, and then do the same thing for the other side. Lift up a piece of the rubber band that's already attached and slide your chopstick through and then you'll get a connection to your base. Repeat with the other side. Lift up a rubber band or a piece, couple pieces of rubber band from your base. Slide your chopstick through. And then lift up another piece of the edge. Slide your chopstick through. And now your base is connected to the chopsticks. 
Use two rubber bands to attach one of your remaining pencils to the top to form the top of your structure. We'll do that by taking the rubber band, wrapping it around the pencil that you're attaching and wrapping and forming a circle around the two pencils that are already at the top. And then we're just gonna lay, twist and lay, form our X, twist and lay the rubber band on top of all three. And we'll repeat the step for the other side. Form our X and then stretch it, wrap it around again, form our X. Stretch, wrap around again. Sometimes when you're stretching and pulling, pulling on the catapult, other parts of it might come apart. That's okay, don't get frustrated. When things start to come apart, just take a moment and restructure everything, push things back. You might even have to twist and turn it a little bit. But this is very flexible, it's gonna be very hard to break. Even if you pop a rubber band, that's a part of the process. If you pop it, that's okay, just start again, pick up another rubber band, wrap it around and just keep going. Remember, this is supposed to be fun, and trial and error is all a part of the process. Next, we want to connect a spoon to the center of a pencil so that it looks like this. What we're going to do is we're going to take our rubber band from the edge, wrap it around, bring it to the center, and then wrap it around the spoon. See the beginning of the rubber band there? Wrap it around, maybe do it a couple times, and then go to the other side of the pencil, and then wrap it around again. You may need to do this a couple of times so that it's secure on. I'm gonna to go to this other side of the pencil one more time. And it's a little loose, so I'm gonna to try to do it one more time, wrapping it around the spoon. And then bringing it up, pop my rubber band. Try this one more time, shall we? Again, start at the edge, pull it toward the spoon, get it wrapped around. You want to go to the other side. This is looking a little better this time. And then, there we go. It may take you a couple of times to do it, but it should look like this when you're done. Next, we want to attach this part of our catapult to our structure. Make sure that the spoon is going behind the pencil, like so like that. And then we want to take the rubber bands on the side and just try to get it around the pencil. So I'm gonna first lay it in front of the pencil, as you can see there, bring it, bring it around. It's a little hard to do. You might wanna have some help. Two people to get this done a lot easier. So once I get it around, we're gonna keep doing that. Twist it, wrap it around the side again, and keep doing it until you get it kinda of tight. Oh, I think I almost got it. Oh, that was hard, but there we go, we got it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that to the other side. I have a rubber band here, one that's not so big. I'm gonna wrap it around the pencil first, around the back side of the pencil first. Then twist it, bring it around the side. Oh, there we go. Bring it around the side. See how I'm looping it around the side there? Then bring it back around, do it a couple of times. And now we have it attached to our base. And we are almost ready to go, the final step. So this final step is gonna give us the spring for our catapult. So I'm gonna use kind of a fairly loose rubber band. Um, I'm guessing the, the tighter the rubber band, the more spring action you'll get. But I wanted to use a looser one because I didn't want it to snap when I wrapped it around the, the, around the spoon. So I'm gonna reach behind the spoon, wrap my rubber band around it on both sides. See how I, I did that there? Twisted it around like that, and then I'm gonna attach it to the tops of my catapult. Twist that one more time. I told you it takes some effort. Sometimes you don't get it all the right, all right the first time, but that's okay, that's why we keep going. And there we go. Let me do this one more time. Let me, I'm gonna twist here as well. See if that makes a difference. It did not make a difference. One more time. 
There we go. And so now my catapult pulls back and it lets go. I'm gonna adjust my catapult so that it comes up just a little bit so that my object will go here. Now that I've rebuilt it for you to see, let's test this bad boy out one more time. So I have a little fuzz ball here and we're gonna let it go, let it rip and see how it does. All right, here we go. One, oh, let me move my spoon out just a little bit. One, two. Well, it actually hit the light fixture in my living room, so I guess it did pretty well. Most projects that you create in life will require a little bit of trial and error. So if you mess up, don't worry, just go back to the last place where you made your last error and keep going. Whether you chose to build a smaller catapult or the larger one, we hope that you had fun and we look forward to seeing what you were able to build today. And we hope that you're having a wonderful week at camp at home. Have a great day.